Should you have a joint account with your spouse? Here is the answer to your question. Hi, I'm Val and along with my beautiful wife Kate, we teach multicultural couples how to manage their money so they can create their own Canadian or American dream. Before we go any further, I want you to understand that the difference between having a joint account and managing money together, there are two separate different things. Managing money together is being a team where you both know what are your visions, what are you working for and put your efforts together. So when you manage money together, there's not such a thing as your money, my money, your debt, my debt. You are one. You have clear goals, clear expectations and clear dreams. And all your efforts are going in the same direction. On the other hand, bank account, joint or not, it's where you keep your money. It's where you collect all your money together and you spend it on your needs. You can move your money from one account to another account without affecting how you manage it together. Because the accounts, it's only the container that holds your money. So to make it super simple, think about managing your money as a pair of jeans. You together are that wonderful pair of jeans. Because if you're gonna rip them apart, they're not gonna be jeans anymore, right? You with me? Now the pockets of the jeans represent your bank accounts. That's where you keep your money. You can move your money from one pocket to another pocket, but at the end of the day, they're still in the same jeans, right? We manage our money together. So all the money that we have is our money and we keep this money in separate accounts for one reason and one reason only. So we can have a financial identity. In other words, it's we're somebody for these banks and we have two checking accounts and two credit cards. One credit card on my name and the other credit card on Kate's name. And we divide our monthly expenses into two cards, which for both of them, we both have access. So yes, no secrets password. We both can access the accounts. We can move money around our accounts because it's our money. So one pair of jeans with four pockets, easy peasy. And if you want to learn what is a financial identity, you can watch this video and the link is just below in the description. In short, if something bad happens to me, Kate can continue her life, leverage money for investments, get a mortgage and so on, so on, because she has her financial identity. If you like this video, make sure to share it with your family and your friends. And if you haven't yet, click the subscribe button so you won't miss any further episodes. For now, keep crushing your money goals and we see you next time.